Welcome to Hints and Tips for Music Teachers, one of the many extra features of our podcast, Music Room, Keeping the Music Going. And you can find the podcast at musicroom.net.au or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, my name's Alison and welcome to my music room. I'd like to show you how I store my boxes and my resources in my classroom. Um, so here we go. I found this old uh, shelf being thrown out from one of our classrooms when they got new furniture and I was like, oh, I can use that. And I trundled it into my room. I bought these boxes here from our reject shop and put a class label on each one. In each box is the class workbooks. You can see the prep scrapbooks don't quite fit in the boxes, but that's okay, we've found the plan B. Uh, my recorder classes have recorders stored underneath their workbooks, and I've got a couple set aside for my choirs as well that just keep the music that we're working on. Uh, set of drawers here. Uh, this stores all of my colored pencils, so I can just pull them out when we need them. My choir music down the bottom, and some bits and pieces for me, just um, so I've got them at my fingertips. Up on top, I found a purpose for some of the many mugs that I've been given. Uh, I had a couple of kids a few years ago call this one Christmas Cat, and Christmas Cat was born. So uh, he is the keeper of the pencils, and Christmas Cat is crazy because he thinks it's always Christmas. Uh, it's a little bit cute when you get the kids saying please and thank you to a coffee cup for using a pencil. Uh, another one of the mugs that I use is for our rubbers, so that's where they store. It's just a way of keeping the room tidy. And that way I know that the students always have the resources that they need. So, that's my storage corner. Hints and Tips for Music Teachers is brought to you by the Music Room Podcast, keeping the music going in our classrooms. Find the full podcast at musicroom.net.au where you'll also find links to join in the conversation on Facebook.